Hey and welcome to this video, my name is Johannes and in this video I'm going to give you a solidly exchanged tutorial how to add liquidity, stake and earn solid rewards. So this is Andre Kronius new project on Phantom Network and as you can see I'm on the exchange. I will leave a link below in the description to this website right here. And first off you can see I'm connected with my MetaMask wallet. So first off, you will have to connect it. Make sure you do your own research before connecting your wallet to crypto sites because there can be scams. So obviously I trust solidly exchange, but you will have to take responsibility yourself. And as you can see, I'm connected with my MetaMask wallet. And you can also see first off I'm on swap right here. So this is uh, one of the features on the solidly exchange. You can swap tokens. I'm on the solid token and I'm on the phantom token right here. So you can just click on any of the crypto tokens you see right there. And then you will get lots of different uh, options to choose between. And then we have liquidity right here. So you can see lots of different liquidity pools. And this is where I will show you very soon how you can add liquidity. But first off, I will show you Vest as well, where you can lock your solid tokens and get a VNFT. You also have voting right here, where you can use your VNFT to vote for different pools and gain bribes. And you also have rewards where you can claim all your rewards whether that is from bribes or if it's from fees as you can see there are some problems right now just about one or two days after launch this will probably get better soon this is just a ui bug i'll click uh, on the cross right here and i had to update but now you can see the pools i'm in you can see my position uh, you can see I haven't earned anything right here. I'm just experimenting, but however, I have earned some solid already. So uh, you can see you can claim anything you want. You can also claim all right here. The reason why I don't have any real positions inside the solidly exchange is because I've used Solidex instead. But anyways, this is just a brief overview right now i will show you what i said i would show you so i will go back to liquidity and first off i will show you how you can add liquidity so i will click on add liquidity right up here and obviously you will have to find a pool where you can get rewards from so a good thing is probably to look at the vote and look for pools with a, a large percentage of votes so one of them right now was usdc oxd which was the first one i added liquidity to so i will go ahead and do that now again you can see it's on ftm and solid so i will change this one into usdc and i will change this one into oxd and I'll just show you a small amount. So let's say I want uh, four USDC. And an important step to look for after you have selected the amount that you want to add, you will see variable and stable. So I will show you inside vote what you can look for when you select this one. So as you can see, I will be adding liquidity to the USDC OXD pool right here. You can see it has the largest amount of total votes percentage wise and also uh, the amount right here and then you will see VAMM -M and variable pool right here so make sure when you search for a pool that you want to add liquidity to you look for variable pool or if it's a stable pool because as you can see I have it on variable right here which is the correct one for me I'm not exactly sure what my VNFT does right here, but I have one VNFT. So that's probably something you will have to experiment with yourself. You can see slippage 2% and that has been working for me so far. And now you can see deposit and stake. You also have an advanced option right here, but I usually keep that uh, off. 
So first off, I will go ahead and click deposit and stake. And when you have clicked on deposit and stake, you will see add liquidity. And then you will need to allow all the spending of OXD, USDC, and also from the pool right here. And as you can see, I have confirmed all these uh, steps. It was a bit buggy for me uh, to uh, complete all the steps. I had to confirm, I had to exit my MetaMask and I had to click exit and click deposit and stake once again to complete all the steps. Hopefully this will be a lot smoother for you. But anyways, I will show you the last steps right here, which is deposit tokens in the pool. So I will click on confirm right here. And here's another bug. You can see failed transaction. Uh, I will click on exit and I will click on exit right here and I will go back and I will click on advanced right here and I will click on deposit LP instead. We'll see how this works. From my experience, what has been working well is to edit the gas fee right here. So I will click on edit and I will click on edit suggested gas fee. And then I will type in, let's say 2000 instead of 1000 gas price. And I will click on save. And then I will click on confirm. And hopefully it works now. Now my transaction has been confirmed, so this should be working. It requires a bit of experimenting and patience to get through the steps. But as I said, hopefully this experience will be a lot smoother for you. Now you can see liquidity added. So the transaction has been confirmed by the blockchain. I will click on exit right here. You can also go to the filter list right here and you can uh, tick in the my deposits filter and then you can see my pool amount uh, right here. Uh, I'm not sure if this has been staked right now, but uh, if it's not staked, you can go to manage and then uh, make sure that the managed liquidity pair is the same that you deposited your LPs to and then you will be able to see the stake button right here when you have advanced uh, ticked in and you can just click on stake your LP if you want to stake your LP because if you don't stake your LP I'm not sure that you will earn solid uh, rewards you will probably just earn fees so what I've done is to stake my uh, LPs. You do your own research, of course. This is not financial advice. And when you have staked your LPs, you will be able to see it under liquidity. You can also go back to vote and then you will be able to see my stake. And whenever you want to see and claim your rewards, you can just go to the rewards tab right here. And you can see I've been experimenting a bit with uh, solidly, so I, I don't really have a lot of rewards to claim right here. But you will be able to see uh, what you have earned. You will be able to see your position inside the pool. And then you can just click on claim all if you want to claim your rewards or you can claim them uh, separately. But yeah, I guess these are the basics of solidly. Even though it's a bit messy for me at the moment to navigate and get through all of the steps on the Solidly UI. This is uh, working. From my experience, I've found it a lot easier and better to interact with Solidex. Which I will create another tutorial on. And I will likely also create another tutorial on the Zero X DAO. Because on these sites, uh, you can see the APY, APR percentage, how much you're earning on uh, the yield farming. And I think the UI is less buggy than the solidly. And in these tutorials, uh, I can go through each step without uh, any confusion, I think. So anyways, hopefully you found some kind of value and got some instructions to follow out of this video.
If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more cryptocurrency and DeFi tutorials. Else, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.